Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Iconics Radio, the producer's corner with Anthony, Mr. Iconics Johnson. And I have my good friend who is a great producer, Robert Ivock. So how are you doing good. today, Robert? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Anthony? Man, I, I'm doing awesome. You know, we're off of the Grammy uh, week or weekend or what we want to call it. Where, where you guys were dominated. And uh, it was just an awesome experience for being in the Recording Academy for this year. You know, just to see all the glitz and gamma and the behind the scenes, you know, you, when you look at the Grammy, it's a little different when you're there. Yep. <laughs> when you're on TV, like a uh, commercial break, four minutes and five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. And, it, and if you're not in your seat, you don't get to see the set. You don't get to see it. They will close the curtains and you will be behind there like, I can't hear, I can't hear. So let's get to this interview. So how do you describe your working style? Which are me? That's a that's a good question. Uh, so I think it, it really depends on the type of project. So for me, you know, if I'm if I'm working on with an artist. A lot of times I like to um, learn about who they are as a person, because then I could definitely uh, help write a song with them or, you know, kind of learn their flow. And I'm, I'm kind of, I guess I'm kind of like a chameleon, a chameleon in that sense where I can, I can, I can adapt uh, my what I want to do is get the best performance out of who, whomever I'm working with. So if, if they like to work bang, 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 bang like that, I can do that. If they're a little slower and just want to take their time and, and, uh, and go over things that way, then I'm, I'm fine with that. Yes, as far as be running, yes. <laughs> exactly, right. <laughs> but as far as me, as, as from the artist standpoint, I like to, um, I definitely, you know, take my time, um, each song that I work on is different. Um, you know, it's the inspiration comes as it comes. So sometimes, but I always start with with a basic track and then I start carving away at that and oh, then start wow. writing the song to, to that track. And sometimes I'll have song ideas, okay. but, I'll, but I like to have the chords down um, to be able to think melodically. I, I definitely go there first. Um, oh wow! Yeah, that that's awesome. That's awesome. And, and, and you know, we just gonna hint a couple of his number ones. You know, people uh, <laughs> Ariana Grande. You know, J Lo. You know, uh, Mark Rons. You know, just to name a few, so y'all know who we have interviewing here on the day, Mr. Robert, Mr. Robert. Now, I know a lot of producers use different dolls. What's your favorite doll? Mm -hmm. Uh, I used digital performer. Oh, digital yeah, performer. digital performer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. A lot of people have been using that. They they've been. Is that more for the EDM or is it that you're just comfortable with that doll? Uh, I'm just very comfortable with it. It's it's the one that I've uh, started using. Okay. Um, well, I guess Pro, I guess Pro Tools would be the one that I started. That's where everyone kind of starts. <laughs> but um, but that's the one where um before see they're all kind of the same now they all yes. have essentially the same you know uh parameters um but digital performer this is back i don't know maybe 10 years ago or something mm -hmm. where the vocal editing capability in it was amazing right. where they had a built-in melodyne and you could right. time stretch without any issues right. and stuff like that so right. that's why i really started like using it and um Oh, and their uh, their MIDI integration is really good. I mean, it it was built for uh, MIDI to start with. It was one of the first ones to right. to do that back in you know the the nineties or whatever. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um, long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I I just uh, I've been using that one since I've really been um, working in the music uh, industry. So I've um, definitely just kind of stuck with that one but you know they're all they're all pretty good i, I like logic you know pro tools yes. has its benefits as well you know yes uh ableton you know pretty much yes. now they're all they're, they're all, all kind of the same. Now. yeah they all kind of the same because uh, i had first i was using all analog you remember back in the 90s i had a whole lot of mini chords <laughs> <laughs> trying to proteus the mpc and i was like uh i had to move it, it was a little 
it was a little change to move to all digital because you know the music needs to sound cleaner. But I understand, you know. But I prefer that uh, Pro Tools and Logic, and, and I got I got good on FL. I got good on, on FL. Yeah, yeah. But you know, yeah, after one of my uh... oh, go ahead. no, no, what was you about to say? One of your ones? Oh, I was going to say what one of my friends I uh, that I work with. He loves FL Studio. I mean, he just like. <laughs> He won't use anything else really because he's just like really fast in it and just yeah wow yeah yeah, yeah. now i won't record no vocals in them now i may do you know <laughs> produce them, but i would not because i don't have time to be trying to change everything i i go to old pro tools old faithful plug it up plug it up so yeah, what, yeah, what yeah. is what is your musical background so for me um i started uh playing Bass is what I actually took lessons on. Uh, so I, I started as a bass player, uh, bass and guitar. Then I took piano in college as I was learning uh, production and, and stuff like that. Wow. But was always in um, writing songs and in bands throughout high school and college. Yeah. And, um, you know, just kind of a lot of self-taught, a lot of you know, learning as much as I could from whomever I was in the room with. Wow. You know, that that sort of thing. But um, as far as formal lessons, I would say, you know, bass was the one that I actually did take lessons on oh, um, to get started. But yeah. Now, now, would you say that your music is bass driven? Because what I learned is like with the musician, like I, I play keys, you know, I started on keys that you could come sometimes still in the producer like, yeah, they play bass, they play key, because it'll be a little bit more bass or key, or if there was a drum or more drum heavy. So is it a lot of bass in yours or did you have came to be in the producer and say, let me not put too much on it? Well, I definitely like to be creative with the bass, I guess. So, <laughs> so there's, you know, I think that's, that, that definitely seeps in there um, right. quite a bit. But, um, you know, it really, I think it really comes down to the style of music that I'm working on, whether it be, you know, something that's more pop or hip hop or dance, right. you know, you have your, you know, your quote unquote rules, so to speak, yes. yes. you know, and um, I, I really do tend, unless I have um, a baseline in mind off the bat, I tend to right. start with, you know, piano stuff, you know, right. chords and, yeah, and yeah. then start building off of that. Right, because everybody has their method, but mm -hmm. if it all sounds good at the end, and you got a hit, you can start with the with the uh, hi hats. You never know, but I like yeah, to ask that's exactly right. Producer, like what well, what what they like to start with to build their mm -hmm. music. So now, how did it feel to be nominated this year Grammy? Um, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was it was definitely um one of those things where we um we felt we had a very strong record but it was a surprise you know we we were like you know when when um when they announced our name um right. it was one of those things where like oh my gosh oh my gosh this is amazing you know like like wow and you feel in that moment you know i was actually <laughs> so when they were announcing it when they started um you know the announcements. I I was actually, <laughs> oh, no. I was actually in the shower. <laughs> and when I found out, see, I didn't know. And I and I had this this thing um, where it's, it, I guess it's a really bad tradition that I started with myself, where yeah. where it's that I, I'm afraid to watch it. Really? Because, yeah, because ah. then I I feel like I'm gonna jinx it. But um, <laughs> but I was I was when I was driving into the studio, I started getting uh, notifications on my phone of like congrats, 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 like that that sort of thing. And then I would I looked down and I was like, <sighs> okay. And then I'm like, wait, which one got it? <laughs> <laughs> he said, which one? <laughs> and then um, wow. wow that was terrible that was terrible no but um <laughs> no but then i i looked down and i saw um our group uh lucky diaz and the family jam and we had we had a, a group chat going and then everyone was like no way no way like did we really right. do this and i was like oh, okay great you know <laughs> you know like i feel good and then you know i felt like that moment of where you're you feel that bliss like you feel like okay everything that i've worked for for the past year wow. just paid off you know and you kind of get a little i guess a little emotional in the sense of like oh right. wow like this really happened 
And then I was like, oh, wow, like everything just changed like that. Right. <laughs> and we got to get to work. <laughs> we got to get to work now. We, we, we got to get to work. But that, that was all of a sudden, you know, yeah, you know, I, I think I sent the vote y'all away. I don't think we supposed to announce that. But, you know, because, you know, I met you, met you through uh, Instagram, you know, through this Grammy by being a part of the Recording Academy, which is awesome. And, and it's congratulations. I mean, you know, I know y'all had a lot to do, you know, just going through that week. So, but it, let, let me ask you, what are you listening to today? What music do you listen to that in your ear that you say, hey, this is what I'm listening to this week or today? Um, honestly, like, um, I really love Nas. I like everything that he does. Really? So I, so in watching him at the Grammys, I was like, wow, this, this guy is just amazing. Because right. he, he takes everything outside the box, which right. I love. Right. You know? <laughs> um, uh, you know, I love I love Ariana Grande. I mean, not not because of like things that I've done with her, but just right. because to me, I feel like she's the top of the game as far as the vocalist. Yeah. And she's just so smooth. It's like butter. You know, I'm just right. so I, I love listening to her. Um, she's always on the edge of, of uh, you know, the hot production as well yeah. so i'm just yeah. like you know i listen to that i'm you know I, i'm inspired by for well, you know what she does right um right. You know, i'm uh i love you know new independent music you know I, i'm just you know listening on spotify uh to right. different things and it's like oh what's what's, what's, what's this, this? <laughs> you know you, you, you know um A anthony johnson you know he's, yeah. <laughs> he's doing some great stuff <laughs> <laughs> that is you know it, and it and honestly it, it it depends too on what i'm working on you know so right. I'll, I'll i'll draw inspiration from different things and um if i'm doing things that are more dance oriented i'll mm -hmm. definitely dive into more dance stuff if i'm doing things that are more pop oriented right. you know i'll go there or hip-hop or, or rock or, or whatever you know i i tend to move it towards there. I mean, I'm really into the clash. I love the clash. So what? I've been listening to, to a lot of them lately, just to kind right. of, you know, have that other element of, of, uh, of music. So, you know, there's, I'm all over the place. I, I, I know, that, that's how us producers are. You know, mm -hmm. you catch me, uh, well, I had my wife laughing the other night because, you know, I was listening to the old, uh, on Sirius, the old, uh, Channel 49, the old music. And, you know, like, uh, uh, Ike and Tina came on, and I was like, man, they, I don't know if they remastered this or the motel, yeah. but like all the drums and everything were just clean. And so mm -hmm. she was like, why are you listening to? I said, I don't know my ear. You know, sometimes you get tired <laughs> of listening to that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but I understand that by, by producer, by listening to everything and whatever you're working on. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple more questions. What, what are you working on now currently? What projects that you're working on now that are um, we so right working. now, um, we actually just released a new um, children's mm -hmm. record with uh, Lucky Diaz and the, and the Family Jam Band. So, um, right. you know, shameless plug there. Uh, working <laughs> on, <laughs> working on um, you know, honestly, I've, I've been working on a lot of uh, original music for myself, mm -hmm. you know, and, and featuring different singers and, um, on that project. I just finished um, uh, the song that I released in um, September called Good Love. I just right. did a, a remix of my own song, which is a very chill kind of, um, uh, it feels down tempo. It's the same, down, it's the same tempo, but it feels down tempo. Just right. a, couple, a different angle of that. So that'll be coming out um, soon, probably like three weeks, I think is where, right. where I'm looking at. Um, Wow. You know, working with with some different newer artists that I'm I'm really excited about. Um, Nellie Nicole Gilbert's doing some great stuff, and she's oh, wow. she does she brings it all over. She does some dance, she does some right. you know ballads. You know, she's doing great stuff. David Longoria, I, I work with a lot um, here at the studio, and he's got some really awesome stuff coming out. Wow. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot of different, and anyone I forgot, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but, no, um, this is all right. He'd be able to yeah. do some more interviews on Iconics Radio. So we, we'll, we'll get those songs plugged in, but, but what song are you plugging that's going to be playing on Iconics Radio? 
that yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, my single good love uh, good featuring L W. Yeah, yeah. So she's um, she's we've been friends for for quite a long time, and we were like, hey, let's do something together. Wow. And um, and the first song we did was called uh, "Play with You," that was released a year ago, and oh, wow. and the current one is is "Good Love," and they're both doing really well on Spotify. You know, right. they're they're yeah, they've been cool. they've been getting some heat, so we're <laughs> so pretty yes. excited about it. You know, <laughs> right? And y'all remember, this is Grammy nominated uh, Robert Ivan. Okay, I just got to keep throwing that in, you know, because he got the chain, y'all. He got the little medallion. The nominee yeah. medallion, yeah, they, I do, I do. and then look, he will be working with Mr. Iconics and uh, Mr. Robert and Miss Mikhail Rose. And, and what city are you in? So we know where we got to fly. I'm in Los Angeles. So, oh, yeah. Okay, yes, yes, yeah. So, so I'm out. Okay. I'm out here. Oh well, we we we'll be there shortly. You know that, and that's the chapter that I'm in in the LA chapter. So. Oh, awesome. That's so so awesome. we definitely be seeing. So now I got one last question that I ask. All my producer friends, what is your Mount Rushmore of producers? Give me five. Oh, wow. Uh, Swiss Beats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> George Martin. Wow. Uh, he would be number two, you know, uh, and, and you know, the, the, those could switch around. Um, I, I actually worked with Swizz um, on a project. <laughs> um, yeah, why well, he's probably one of the coolest the coolest people that I had ever uh, met in the industry. Um, Quincy, Quincy Jones, of course, Ooh, you yes. can't forget him. <laughs> yes. um, oh man. Um, wow, this is going to be tough because there's that's so many. Four, that's the, four. And you, and it you has, know, doesn't have to be in the order and we, we're not kicking nobody out. We're just saying the five that we know. That you, you know, uh, she was too. Stevie Wonder, you know, wow, um, because yeah. he, you know he produced a lot of his own music and, and other people, and he was just amazing, you know, and just yes. the fact that, or he still is amazing, yes, you know, yes. Um, yes. what he did, uh, Rick Rubin, I, I it would be the oh, fifth, yeah, you know? yeah, Rick, <laughs> yes, that's everybody. Well, I, I like that Mount Rushmore, you know, of those who do all of those are great, and so many out that you, that we can name that you know we'll we'll be all day naming producers but we definitely appreciate you for coming by our kind of radio now where can the people find you well, on your social media platforms or on your website so um my website is robert com. that's r-o-b-e-r-t-e-i-b-a-c-h.com um i'm at robert Ibach on twitter at underscore Bach on Instagram and right. you could find me on Spotify Robert Ibach um, wow and uh, yeah in see, Google see, <laughs> well, now listen people know, I know they all clapping from all over the place because we appreciate you appreciate you for coming by we're definitely looking forward to working with you and the song is playing on Iconics Radio as we speak so we thank you for coming by Iconics Radio Thank you, Robert, and we are out.